If you want to get an iPad home button that is virtual and not the physical one here, you could turn it on via the iPad settings. Now, the reason you may want to do this is sometimes this gets stuck on older iPads or it doesn't work very well. So you may want to get the virtual one and the virtual one also gives you a lot more options. So you may want to get it for that reason. So you could set it to do many, many different things instead of just one thing, which is bringing you home. And in some cases, you may have the iPad Pro or the iPad Air, which Apple redesigned this part of the screen and you'll no longer have a physical one. So you may want to get a virtual home screen button on some iPad models. So first launch the settings app on your iPad and you want to go down here to accessibility. And the very first option you'll see over here on the second part is called touch. So go ahead and select touch right here. And right there, assistive touch is what you need to turn on. And you need to just turn on this slider over here. And as you could see, this appears right over here, this home button here. So let me show you, you could place it anywhere you want. So you could place it here or you could place it here. So I'll just place it here next to the physical one that sometimes gets stuck. Now here are some options. If you press it, it brings you to this menu, which gives you a lot of different options. So you could customize this as much as you want. You could also access your control center from here as well. So I'll just go to home because I want to show you back in settings how you could customize this menu. If you go to customize top level menu right here, you could actually remove all the extra stuff. So I could just press subtract here and go to just one icon. I'm going to actually click on Siri and actually turn this to home because that's the only one I want in this case. Now, if I press this option, it just takes me to home. So it basically becomes this physical one. It doesn't do anything else. But if you do want it to do other things, just press the plus sign here and press the plus sign on the icon. And you could choose any number of things for that to do. So for example, you could lock your screen rotation or lock your screen altogether or do a pinch or a restart. Even a screenshot, for example, could be set right here. So if you press this one time, you could go ahead and screenshot and it's going to take a screenshot of your page. So that's why this becomes a lot more useful than this one if you don't mind having this here, or again, if you have the other issues. And if you want to remove it or reset it at any time, you could come back to this menu and reset it. And if I go back to assistive touch, I could always turn it off from here and it disappears. You can see how it appears and disappears from this page. I hope you found this quick video useful and I'll see you next time.